Hi, good morning. This is Raj Kumar. Uh, we are seeing yet another tutorial reading types. Look at here. We have four type of railings which is defined in the Revit Architecture default template. So we can able to create a railing by two methods by scripting the path or otherwise placing on the host. Placing on the host is nothing but placing on a Stairs, stairs suppose we can say, or ramp. Sketching the path is as usual, drawing a line, circle, or whatever it is you want, it will be created. It should be a single path. That's all. Let's start with uh, railing by pressing on the host. For that, I have an another view. Look at here, I have a staircase in this case. I have different 3D views in here. I just wanted to go inside of the interior stair. Look at my stair. I have a single shape here. Take the railing, place on post. I don't want to save it now. Just click your host. The host is nothing but whatever the object which holds the railing. It may be a thread or it may be a string. Just click on this here. Just uh, ignore the error because we have different slope value in this other side of your railing. So I just wanted to escape it. Look at it, how easy it is. Let me move into the floor plan to create a railing by sketch. I'm just closing this view to see the my floor plan. Yes. And taking the railing by sketch. You can draw your shape, whatever the shape you want. As like any other Revit families. First, you need to select your type. See, we have basic four types which is defined by default in the ribbon. I will take 900 millimeter. Either you can pick the line or you can draw the line. I just wanted to draw the line. Just right line after this. I just wanted to continue this line automatically by default. So I will click on this place, chain in the option bar. Because I will draw the continuous railing. So, as I say, it should be a single path. That's all. We make finishing here. Let me see this in 3D. To understand, see these are the types we have the basic four types of railing. The railing which we create. I just wanted to see the railing, different types of railing, which is I want to see it in here. The 900 millimeter pipe or 1100 millimeter which are rectangle all are rectangle and I have created a sorry by default glass panel otherwise and next one see I have a different set of railing over in this place the first four are the default template Railing types. And I have five more things which is customized from the default Revit libraries. You can see that clearly. Which all are already available in the default Revit library. And just I just modified the railing properties. And the remaining types whichever I have it is. Uh, which I customized the 
family ties i've created my own family some of them so look at in this place especially uh, you can say that this is a uh, this to or the sustainable driving the reason behind this uh, let's see it in the model i'm selecting this really and changing that into the custom right i guess it will be a 4 and 5 see here it will act as a chair or otherwise you can place some of objects in this so many objects may be a, a flower pot or something else you can use it as a chair also so this kind of railing you can use it in the park area or in your corridor another type which is fifth one custom way uh not fifth one actually uh, yes the same one uh third and fourth third is the chair kind of thing and fourth is the with the railing yes four i just wanted to flip this by clicking this arrow now this will come outside the out select it look at the bottom of the railing i have some support also on the railing in between the reason behind this is you can hang a flower pot in this place instead of having a separate railing or a separate support for the flower pot you can able to hang it in this place that is what the uh, motivation of this one the other railing types we have here over top of the concrete and half of the railing steel and this one it is wood and next we get to things see here this is a wood and steel place we have so let's see that already we are in realistic mode and the next last one it is a support for a glass panel which is customized up we can have created on i won okay let's apply the railing to the remaining floor it is very easy you can select it just copy it and then paste into the other inside the level i just wanted to apply this into my two floors and maybe in three floors now you can see it and my all floors it is created the problem is i wanted to close this so okay so i will just select the trailing double click it or rather wait maybe you can select it edit path and just take the line i uh, pick the line i will use pick the line this time so let this line i want to reduce so i can go with the align i just want to align up to this so i will click this point and i will click the line again and let me try finish may it may so error this in the whole sheet is not placed on the exact place and here remove next and join the corner yes it is and let me delete the remaining things and copy this one 
from the second floor to the third and fourth. Okay, that's all about this session and uh, later on I will cover one by one how to customize railing and how to create a new railing families and profiles and how to assign that into the railing types. Thank you and see you in another tutorial.